What's up guys, Bonnie here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're talking about one of the hardest to obtain champions in the game. In fact, part of one of the hardest to obtain trio champions in the game, which is Rion the Conjurer along with Akoth the Seared and Yura Soul Cage. We want to see what they are capable of. So I'm going to go through a couple of things that I've tried so far where I find them to be the most useful and then you guys can decide if this is worth the effort or not. So let's get right to it. So let's quickly go over the three champions in case you guys have forgotten how they work. For Euros the Soul Cage, we have a shield on the A1. For his A2, it's an AoE hit, which will do different things depending on how many poison debuffs there is on the target. So either turn meter reduction, plus decrease speed, plus stun, and this will instantly activate if Rion will revive this champion. Then for the A3, we have a strengthen and ally protection buff on all allies. And then for his passive, basically placing, sorry, poison debuffs every time he is hit. If there is a strengthen buff, however, on the allies, he has a chance of placing a provoke, and then his max HP increases and the enemies decreases every time there is a poison that ticks that comes from this champion. And to finish it off, he has a resistance aura for all battles for all allies. The next one is Akoth the Seared, which has on the A1 the decreased crit rate. More importantly, on the A2, AoE HP burn, which will increase in chance if there is more enemies alive. And then for the A3, we have a 50% chance of increasing the cooldown of all skills by two turns if there is an HP burn on the mobs. And we also place a shield buff equal to 20% of this champion's max HP on all allies. And this is the skill that will instantly activate if he is revived by Rion the Conjure. And then for the passive, we have a 10% chance of placing a fear debuff on on an enemy for one turn when there is an HP burn. And finally, for his aura, we have 25% HP in all battles. Finally, we have Rion the Conjurer, the hardest of the three to obtain from the Doom Tower. Her A1 is a block buffs. The A2 is an AoE strip, a very hard to obtain effect in the game. So this is definitely a good addition to your roster. It's a 100% chance and it's a place. On top of that, you get a 25% weaken. For the A3, this is where it gets interesting. You revive a dead ally with 50 percent hp and then fills their turn meter by 50 percent you also place a block debuffs on them for two turns what you need to understand here is that she's also going to revive akoth and uros if they are dead at first i wasn't sure if it was going to be one of the three but it turns out it's all of them if only one of the two is dead she's going to revive just those two so this can be kind of like an aoe revive across the board assuming there's these two champions in there but i don't believe it would be three random champion it is just one extra champ and then the two apart Part of the combo and finally she has an accuracy aura for all battles now for the testing i started with the four dungeons or should i say three i knew it wasn't really going to work for the fire knight 25 but i wanted to try at least the ice golem the spider and the dragon there's only one of them that i managed to get to work and it's this one right here because maybe this is my fault but i didn't want to change my uros the soul cage to soul of the scarab king and i did not want to change my akoth the seared to do my speed run spider 24 team instead i adapted rion the conjurer to kind of complement these two builds right now and just overall see what we can do with this so akoth is kind of like in a stun set uros is in a guardian set and then we have rion the conjurer in a regeneration with two immortal pieces okay so gave them a high resistance obviously especially for rion the conjurer you don't want her to be cc'd and as long as you can ensure that akoth the seared is the main target he's the one that dies first all the time then you can revive him uh secondly you would want uros to be the the the, the next target but he has the guardian said therefore he has way more hp regeneration than rion so he isn't exactly the next target in line so this is a little bit risky when akoth is down but overall this is what allowed me to trio this ice golem 25 now am i going to use this most likely not you want to know why because one it's not safe and secondly because i have a second team that can do this with just two champions right which is bad alcazar and aox the remember so i don't see why i would use this it's also like i said not safe but i did get it to work on the second attempt here where we once again kind of just do the same thing it's a very long run so I, again i don't see why anybody would use this right now for the dragon we didn't have enough firepower to take the dragon down himself it worked for the waves for the spider uh kind of the same concept you have the aoe hp burn but we end up losing our champions way too fast 
fast without decrease attack. Maybe with better stats, this could work. But again, I'm not going to take apart my champions for a team that I know I would not use for anything else. So instead, I wanted to test these three champions in the arena. Where I'm not going to lie, it was kind of hard to figure out who's the fourth champion worth putting in here. We have a trio or combo of three champions. So, you know, which other champion is going to allow us to survive a go second team like this? And obviously, if you had a Seafine here or Madame Ceres or anything of the sort, you're most likely not going to come out of this. You need to have Rion the Conjure in higher resistance, but you also need high accuracy if you want her to land her AoE strip. So then you can go into some crowd control of your own, place the poison debuffs from Euros, also place the HP burns from ACOS. So it just didn't seem like it was a viable strategy. This is one fight that I managed to do. It lasts a very long time. We eventually take control of the fight we do manage to eventually strip at the right time but it is very rng dependent so i'm thinking with crazy gear this might be a somewhat annoying team to kill in gold four but i certainly do not see this being played in platinum whatsoever right not to mention i'm using the torment here which is doing a bulk of the damage and obviously Akoth is powering up our torment at the same time when we have freeze and hp burn on at the same time okay i don't even have high enough resistance to not get crowd controlled my own and as you can see right there because i'm high resistance i don't even have high enough accuracy to properly strip their arbiter and make this a faster run so overall this this is it the entire fight we're liter literally just going to go back and forth uh i am going to kill his champions he's going to kill mine but as long as rion the conjure keeps uh, staying full health and all the other three champions are the targets then we are able to constantly bring them back alive i believe at some point i get all three of them to be revived at the same time uh, as i explained in the beginning because of the way that skill works but again very rng dependent and all the other teams that i tried to face that had like a cfi madam saris or whatever you instantly get stripped you get nuked and then that's it there's nothing really you can do but still it's nice to see that it might help some of you guys out i guess all right now let's quickly go over the gear of the champions as i use them right now and then i will switch the gear of rion the conjurer and take her for a spin in a different way so this is my urasa soul cage i did do a dedicated build video on this guy basically used to, to solo sorry the scarab king all the skills are done and then here are the masteries up next we had our shield set tormin uh this guy is relatively well geared 182 speed a decent amount of resistance don't forget we do have the aura all of his skills are also done and then for the master this is what i'm using uh next one we have let's do our a cough of the seared which is all the way down here so as i said this champion is built for my spider 24 speed runs we have a decent amount of accuracy just the right amount of speed uh in a stun set which does help a little bit survive with the arc mage which is usually the main cc champion and then for the masteries i just kind of started building them but i don't really need the extra masteries for the spider 20 and like i said i did not want to dedicate this champion to anything else until i really know how i want to gear him for specifically the spider and finally let's do rion the conjurer as she was for everything you just saw so in a regeneration set with two pieces of immortal we have 194 speed 61k hp 365 resistance only 211 accuracy though as for the skills they are all done and then for the masteries i was using this right here but now here's how I think Rion the Conjurer will be a big help for just about any account in the arena, especially classic arena if you don't have your AoE stripper. So even on my team, on my account rather, I still did not really have a reliable champion to do this. And as you can see right there, I'm finally able to do that. Now this team wasn't exactly a perfect example. We do have two force champions, but overall I should be able to handle those really tanky uh, teams with like, let's say Krisk and all of those champions, which should make it a lot easier for me to just speed farm classic arena now will this champion be a push for me to reach platinum most likely not right i think that madam saris is still probably our best option but overall if you have those really annoying teams maybe they have big shields let's try this one right here uh then this is your go-to champion and it's kind of crazy to think that even two 
and a half years later, I'm still kind of lacking that kind of champion on my own account. So that extra weaken along with the decrease defense of Deacon is kind of perfect for my nuker to be empowered even more, right? So let's try to find, I don't know, one more quick team here. Maybe we can find something that has a lot of buffs. Maybe these guys will have a shield. They don't look really tough. There is also the unkillable though on a skull crown. I am at risk here of being counterattacked from a skull crown. So it's not exactly perfect as you saw right there. But overall, it should allow me to deal with most teams. Let's see if we can not die from this solo skull crown, which might happen. But hey, if it is, then it's a great example. Here we go. Come on. She's going to take a turn. She's going to hit pretty darn hard. Okay. And we managed to kill her. So as you can see, like, again, it's not a one team that's going to be able to kill them all, but at least it is that, an AoE stripper. And I think that it is one of the hardest to obtain effects or skills in the game so Rion the conjure is exactly that for me so now let's quickly go over the gear that i have on her and her masteries which as you saw during those fights it's an immunity set i also have my deacon armstrong in an immunity set they're both relatively fast but my foley is too slow to prevent anybody from cutting in so i have still a lot of work to do to get this to be perfect but overall here are the total stats 245 speed we have 500 accuracy and then a relative amount of hp but i think i would want push this above 50,000 if I'm going to keep this kind of build. Uh, we'd have an accuracy chest to do this and we also have an accuracy banner obviously. As for the skills you saw they're all done and then for the masteries I kind of switched this up a little bit. We went into the support all the way down to eagle eye. So I really think that this is going to sort of be the go-to build for most players but I am kind of eager to see what the other guys are going to come up with to see if this trio is really effective anywhere else or do we just use Rion the Conjure individually for the arena and then we keep using Akoth as an AoE HP burn champ for the spider and then maybe we keep using Eurasa Soul Cage as our solo expert for the Scarab King but overall this is what I have for you guys do let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later